Hello, hello. Welcome to another one versus one red alert quick match cast here by your boy Yamato Special on the map Bullseye. Very interested to see what's going on here. I see there are uh, some sneaky stuff going on the mini map here already, but in the top right hand corner, Paprich, the yellow uh, USSR, very likely uh, Soviet player here, pumping out some units. Chris uh, moving his MCV around, trying to pick exactly the right spot as to where he wants to go. Uh, you know, delaying uh, the, the deployment like that. Definitely going to put him a little bit uh, behind here. You can see Paprich already has a barracks and a power plant down, but uh, Chris, uh, you know, shouldn't be too far behind, but definitely will be a little bit. So we'll see how that affects him here in the game. Uh, moving closer here to the ore, so if he puts a ore refinery down here, uh, definitely going to be a lot closer, but uh, I'm not sure that moving that much was uh, in his favor necessarily. So anyway, uh, Chris... Go ahead and well. uh, going ahead playing Morning. allies, Morning. building some units here, pushing out onto the map. Uh, this map bullseye here recently was uh, uh, made to be always bottom left and top right spawns. So, uh, you know, again, like we've said before here on the casts, uh, no question as to where the other players are, but definitely want to get that map uh, vision and scouting yeah, in. Ready. So both players uh, currently Training. doing that. Very good Building. job for both players. Uh, let's see, Paprich being very, very uh, careful here, got the, the unit wall, and we typically see, you know, one unit uh, wide, but we see uh, four groups here, so he's definitely playing it very safe and getting, getting a lot of uh, infantry here, so interesting to see that, um, and Chris here not building too many units, see the thing is, is Paprich here has invested in a nice wall, but you know a lot of money has gone towards these units and once that money's gone It's gone. So we'll see how this affects him if it does at all um, Chris, you know here having some more money of course just like we said so we'll see uh, if he puts that more into tanks versus the infantry uh, as the game gets later and later uh, right when that first tank comes out the infantry kind of almost becomes useless I don't want to I don't really want to commit to saying that because uh, as we said many times before um, casting these games uh, if you have enough riflemen you can definitely shred a tank uh, of course with micro and using the X key to scatter the units but uh, well, anyway, we'll see how this plays out here. Uh, Chris looks like he put down a uh, refinery and built a uh, ore truck here um, out of the war factory for the first unit. And uh, then uh, is, okay, well, he's placing down another war factory here. Going to probably start seeing uh, uh, the tanks pumping out. And, of course, Paprich here uh, playing USSR, of course, going for the heavy tanks. Very standard. And, well, there you go, Paprich. It worked out for you, man. You got all your... Uh, wall of units here denying that scout so let's see yes, what sir, Chris could see uh, Chris cannot see too much he definitely Perfect. sees two ore trucks though uh, getting a little uh, information there let's see what Paprich can currently see Paprich cannot see Chris's base at all so uh, definitely would like to see some more scouting here um, you know get this tank out and it looks like that's what he's doing here he's going to probably send this tank down try to get some more scouting information since the tank is definitely going to be a lot quicker than the uh, infantry here and of course uh, do a lot more damage and also be able to take a lot more damage as well so anyway uh, we have four tanks in total out for Paprich, and down here, Chris currently having four tanks as well, but uh, these being medium tanks, so uh, it's going to need a whole lot more medium tanks and heavy tanks to try to equal out the battle, so um, let's see what happens here. Paprich again coming down with that scout, so let's, let's follow it and see how much he gets here. Uh, definitely seen some uh, units here along the way, um, likely clicking here in the very bottom left hand corner. Now I'm going to have to micro move his uh, tank over here into the base. So he sees two advanced power plants here in the construction yard. He has uh, eyes here on one war factory, but I think, oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Chris, yeah, does have another war factory. So um, we're seeing the tanks now. He has the information that some medium tanks are here on the field. Uh, I believe another refinery was placed here. So we've got four ore trucks currently uh, for Chris, and it looks like three for Paprich. So Chris actually having a little bit, maybe more of an e uh, economic advantage here, which is kind of interesting uh, considering he started out 
um, with moving his uh, MCV around and eventually making the construction yard quite a bit. So it looks like he actually might have brought himself back in this game. Uh, Chris actually, wow, using his uh, ore truck here, getting these precious gems in the middle of the map. We, we very rarely see this. Um, in the, the games that we've been casting here. So it's good to see some people using uh, this up here. Um, definitely probably why Chris has an economic advantage and he's uh, uh, strategically parking his tanks here, um, also guarding this, although I highly doubt Papridge even knows that this is going on. But of course the consequence here is having the tanks in the middle of the map. We're not gonna be uh, protecting our base as much. So we have to rely on whatever tanks may be built here at the war factory. Uh, so anyways, we'll see what happens here. Uh, Chris, of course, you know, just going to be mining these gems down. So back here at the base of Papridge, looks like we have uh, maybe a handful, about seven uh, heavy tanks here, uh, just kind of waiting, um, playing a very defensive game the whole time. We can tell by this infantry wall here, uh, just kind of macroing, sitting back and waiting to see what happens. Um, Let's see what Papridge can see here. So complete. he definitely sees the base, and uh, for the most part, he's going to see you know really any attack that comes unless Chris takes the path up here and goes to the right and then comes this way. But of course, uh, uh, Chris would not know that. So Chris, anyway, moving up here uh, wisely, trying to focus down the harvester. Looks like we're going to see a giant engagement here. Let's see what happens. Definitely needs to scatter these riflemen. They're all just getting crushed right now. Um, Chris with the tank numbers here, I mean Papridge with the heavy tanks was going to do a lot more damage, but of course uh, Chris is outnumbering him here with the tanks, so uh, Chris is definitely going to win this engagement. We're not seeing any Q moving either from Papridge, so unfortunately he was just sitting there like a sitting duck. Uh, not very good. Definitely want to be using the Q, uh, um, the Q key on the keyboard to uh, simultaneously move your tanks and fire. Uh, this also not 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 a great idea sending a single tank in that just you know Chris is just gonna eat that up free tank kill right there um, of course you know Papridge uh, doing the best he can here trying to push tanks out but uh, always always good to make the best choices you can definitely want to sell that construction yard before it gets taken out there's really no question whether it would get destroyed or not maybe seeing some units being built here in the barracks I mean the tanks are gonna take a while to make so let's uh, maybe try to make some rifle infantry and see what we can do but hey GG for both players and a great game there very interesting to see the uh, gems in the middle of the map being used there or mined rather uh, very interesting too that Chris moved his MCV that much early on but hey it was able to work for him and he made it work so hey guys I hope you're enjoying these casts I'm having a great time doing them if you're watching here on YouTube please leave me a comment below let me know what you think uh, if you're hanging out in twitch chat right now shout out to everybody hanging and out really appreciate it um and uh yeah your special signing out here and we'll go on to the next cast we'll see you there